we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do the book of Revelation. This is a chart that I painted about, I don't know, 25 years ago when I was teaching the book of Revelation. I painted a little bit each week and displayed it as I taught it and worked our way all the way through it over a period of about six months, actually, at that time. We won't take that long this time. So you're going to see the book of Revelation as a whole. You hear a lot of parts of it, but you're going to see it just as God intended for you to. So this is the book of Revelation. Notice the scroll here, the book of Revelation, and it ends here. So from here to here is the book of Revelation. Now we have down here drawings of what is described in the book of Revelation. Then up here is what's happening as the Bible describes it in heaven in the book of Revelation. Down here is what's happening in the earth, in hell, in the bottomless pit, and the lake of fire as it's happening. Now it's divided into three basic parts. The book of Revelation divides itself into three parts. First of all, through chapter 3, you have the seven churches of Asia mentioned. And then in chapter 4, beginning in verse 1, the rapture takes place. At that point, you have the seven sealed book is opened. The seven sealed book is a book that God has in heaven. And here it is when it's completed. So this represents the great body through chapter 20 of the book, up to chapter 20 of the book of Revelation. So all that is de described in the book of Revelation from chapter 4 to chapter 20 is listed right here. And this is a drawing, a painting of the individual th things that take place. Now I have the verse markings, 8, 5, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 10, where each of those events take place. So this gives you the scriptural references for all of these things. Now, this period of time right here that you see is called the present age. It's the age in which you and I now live. It begins, and I don't know if you can see that, but with the crucifixion, burial, and resurrection of Christ begins this present age, the church age, the age of the Spirit. Some people call it the age of grace, although God's always been gracious. And then inside of that is the church age beginning on the day of Pentecost, going to the rapture. This oval represents the church age. And then underneath it, you see the Jews scattered. And then they're brought back. And the Jews return right here. And that takes place right after the rapture of the church. So we have the dead being raised, raptured up to heaven, where... We will be around the throne of God with the 24 elders seated, the four living creatures around the throne, the four beasts. Uh, there'll be the judgment seat of Christ where we'll be given one or more of five different crowns. And then there'll be a seven-year period in which we will reside in heaven and the marriage of the Lamb will take place at the end of those seven years. Christ comes back with the second coming on a white horse and destroys the nations in a final world war. And at that point, a new age, age of ages, as it's called in the scripture, begins. That is when the kingdom of heaven that John preached actually comes to the earth and heaven rules the earth for 1,000 years. That's the 1,000 year millennial reign of Christ on the earth. Revelation 20 verse 4. At the end of that thousand years, the bottomless pit is opened up. The unsaved dead come up out of it, stand in the great white throne judgment, are judged, and are cast back into the lake of fire, and that's called the second death. Then the earth is destroyed. Peter says the elements melt with a fervent heat. God creates a new heavens, which is this little cube here, called the new Jerusalem, and a new earth, excuse me, he creates a new heavens and a new earth, and then the new Jerusalem comes down and sits on the earth where it will abide forever on this new earth. There'll be no more seas on the new earth to accommodate the large number of people that have been saved throughout history so that each one of us will be able to have, as the Bible says, our own fig tree. We'll all sit under our own fig tree. And uh, the climate will be changed on the earth. This new earth will have a 
a uh, perfect climate all the way around, and uh, it'll be a garden of paradise, and that begins eternity right there. So that's, that's a quick overview of the book of Revelation. Now, in part two, we'll go into it in a little bit more detail. You can get this chart, by the way. It's about that long from No Greater Joy Ministries. We photographed it, and it's a lot more clearer there than what you'd, you'd see it here with the lights reflecting off of the canvas and what on. Yes, and there's a book that goes with the chart that just, just gives you all the verse references and lays it out for you real plain. So that's it. No Greater Joy Ministries. Michael Pearl, glad to see you. Come back again for the next episode.